That's that's any of the four videos we got left. We got outer space isn't a place; it's a lie. We got GPS what, satellites. We're going with that actually. Yeah, we're going with that actually. Yeah? Outer space right. is a lie. That is actually. Right. Um, I thought about that earlier. Yeah, we're going that way. What's pretty we're funny yeah. is uh, what's pretty funny is I've already seen the we're clip he's about to talk place. about, and I and I know the answer to it because uh, he's talking about an astronaut fading mid shot uh, while on the ISS. That's oh. a TV edit. Yeah, it's literally it's how they edited it, edited it on TV. Yeah, it's like part of a production, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, like saying, it's, it's like those videos. Pit? It's like those Little videos, bit. you know, where they're actually in the space station for forty-five minutes, giving you a fucking tour of the space station. And um, I tell you what, right? If you can fake that shit, wow, we. There's this one video where the actor is going around a corner, and he is faded out before making it completely out of the viewer's sight. It never bothers, it never occurs to them to ask why something is the way it is. You just, Let's not no. forget space bubbles. Yeah, it's from like a promo oh, video. Oh, great, yeah. great. Space bubbles. Buzz. Oh, All right, great. God. So the magic fucking gravity defying space bubbles that go whichever fucking direction they want. And yep. uh, there's there's also, you know, one of them. Have you ever actually like looked at the footage from the uh, uh, the test lab, the underwater lab? Uh, there's a bubbles shit everywhere. ton of bubbles. There's a sure. ton of bubbles because that's what scuba equipment is is like. You don't yep. see that here. I know, I know. I, know. I tell you what, right? And I know this because I did a paddy course. When I lived out in Gran Canaria, I did a paddy course. And one of the um, one, one of the dives we had to do was in Pitts Blackness. And we went to Las Palmas Port, which is one of the deep, uh, I think the second deepest natural port in the world, right? And we had to dive and switch our lights off. And they told us before we dived, when you switch your lights off, the only way you know is up is when you breathe out. And that's what they told us. So you breathe out and all the bubbles go up. They don't just fly around in different directions like um, the um, micro fucking like whatever it is that's flying around. I mean, we don't really know what people see, you know. We don't know really for real what we see that is just like, you know, that we see on camera. But... It's not just going up, is it? Because they're not underwater, they're in fucking space, you <laughs> <laughs> Well, funny thing, you say we're not quite sure what that shit is that's flying around. And that's sort of true. There's a couple answers for what it could be. Uh, it Like, it is one of a few options. And I, I wonder if he's going to play the clip of Scott Kelly being asked by, asked by a flat earther of why there's footage of bubbles in space, and he's going to cut it up and show the part where Scott says, I don't really know what you're talking about, and then proceeds to answer the question without actually realizing it. <laughs> Let's go back to the video before we upset somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm talking, so you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Did they fart that one out? <laughs> that really looks just like an ice crystal, though. It doesn't occur to him to ask him why they go different directions every time. Ice crystal. Yeah. Yeah. Ice crystal, uh, paint, uh, flex of paint, maybe. Dave Williams Could be about anything. to move out of the Quest airlock. Uh, those particles that you see emanating from uh, the airlock is uh, said by the EVA officer Paul Bame in Mission Control to be uh, particles of water from the crew's uh, sublevators on their spacesuits. That's right. Uh, it's... There you go, figure. Why do you include the self-debunk? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because they're stupid. <laughs> because you're that dumb, yeah. That's right. Like, Im imagine being like, I'm smarter than everyone, I know this is space bubbles, and then showing the actual answer. Well, <laughs> I've, got, I have, I've got to answer, um, uh, ugly, German, ugly German Truth said, um, what, you know, what direction do farts fly in? That's the one, yeah, exactly that. What direction do they go? <laughs> Up like the rest of the fucking, you know, you know. Oh, uh, is it density and buoyancy, actually, because farts go up?
Is it? Is it maybe <laughs> density? I no, no, it's not. Because they wouldn't go up if it was a fucking no gravity there, you dick splash. I mean, think about it, you know. Um, yep. If it was just density, density and buoyancy, it could go anywhere, you know. It could be like, you know, I could stick my fucking finger in Port Nebo, Nemo, which is like the furthest fucking spot from land. Now, if it was just density and buoyancy, right, if I stuck my finger in port nemo i'd crush my fucking finger but no we have a downward force which is called everybody on the panel gravity 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 give it to us gravity come on Oh, I have to do the thing. Uh, yeah, you got it. Gravity, you fucking retards! You ever heard of gravity? Gravity! <laughs> <laughs> right, let's move on. So um, many times during um, spacewalks outside the International Space Station, we can see air bubbles rising up. Can you touch on how there are air bubbles in space? Um, air bubbles. Can you be more specific, air bubbles? So yeah, like a lot of times during the footage, the NASA footage, you can see bubbles coming up out of the helmets or kind of from underneath you. Um, how do you explain bubbles in space? I actually think she's got, yeah, it's a gotcha. I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Oh, and it just happens that uh, actors... Yeah. See, this is why ODD, ODD TV is a little fuckwit and, and a dishonest little fuckwit. You and notice how he cut, you notice how he cut uh, he cut uh, Scott Kelly off there mid sentence. Yep. Yeah, there's more to that clip. He fucking explains exactly what you're seeing, but OD, ODD didn't include that part because his audience is a bunch of fucking mouth breathing morons who won't do their own research. They'll take him at face value. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm supposed to be told that earther. I need to, and I'm supposed to be told that I need to do my research. Go fuck yourselves, flat earthers. That's right, for real. <laughs> like guy. fucking hell, I I can't wait. I bet later in this clip, he's also going to show the uh, the fucking old Orion clip and how they can't get through the Van Allen belts, and he's going to deceptively edit that too. Because I'm 95 percent sure that three years ago, before I had a channel, I fucking debunked this exact video live on a Twitch live stream that two people watched. Two. <laughs> Already then. Pretty sure. Because I remember him, <laughs> I, I remembered him manipulating the Scott Kelly clip. So this is definitely at least part of the same video. It didn't start mid sentence though, so I don't know what's going on there. Anybody got anything else to add, or should we uh, get back to it? Yeah, let's well, fucking get back to it before everyone it. fucking goes quiet and we have that moment of silence. And I have to pipe <laughs> up and say, "Fucking pull yourself together, people." Train <laughs> in an underwater tank. Oh, look at all of those bubbles! Yeah, but. It's not what you saw NASA earlier. tells us that the Earth is photoshopped because it has to be. Uh, it is photoshopped, Jesus but it's Christ. it's has to be. Then there was another layer to sort of simulate the atmosphere. And then there's this little bright spot. It's called the specular highlight. So it's the reflection of sunlight off of water. Those are the pieces, but you can't just slap them all together. It just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds are sort of too see-through. So I just hit Command Z a lot. There's artistry to creating the world what I imagine it to be. Um, unfortunately, I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> I've never been to space. No one. Yeah. Some NASA you. actors say that you can totally <laughs> see cool. stars when you're in space. Uh, whilst in so I remember this one too. Uh, when bright, yep. shiny rock in front of you, no stars. When no bright, shiny rock in front of you, stars. Very simple. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, there's a good video out there. I don't remember who did it, but they did this exact thing. They, uh, you know, they shined a light on themselves and and videoed themselves in a big open field, and you couldn't see any stars. And they shut the light out, and then the camera ad adjusted its its aperture so that it had the correct depth of field and correct aperture opening. And lo and behold, there were the stars. <laughs> Cameras don't work, you know, like our even they actually kind of do work like our eyes they do. But they're not do, nearly yeah. as pretty similar, not nearly as sensitive. 
So, right. yeah. No, uh, this is something eyes. they can actually test themselves, but they don't go off and do it because they're, you know, don't want to yeah. destroy their own. No, they, they don't want to destroy their own fantasy world. All right, should we let it go? Yep. Let's go. In space, have you ever looked away from Earth into the black void? Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, because yeah, you time. can see, yeah, because yeah. you can see the stars. Oh yeah. And, yeah. You know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah, the stars. Yeah. It's, it's not a black a cool void. Thing. I mean, it's black, but there's all kinds of little polka dots. There's all the there's all the stars there. And the cool thing is about it, you can see it during the day. Yeah, you can, and there's more than stars. You can see planets. You can right. see moons. You, you see the ga the gas. Uh, Magellan clouds of yeah, the Milky yeah, Way galaxy. Yeah, yeah, you see Magellanic clouds. Magellanic, see, I, was, yeah. I just wanted the Magellan well, clouds. Well, there's a large one and a small one, right? Yeah. And, and then you can see uh, the zodiacal light. Whoa. But the NASA actors from 1969 say that you can't pause, see the stars. Pause, 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 Yep. These guys are fucking clearly, genuinely talking about what they fucking witnessed with their own eyes. These guys are clearly fucking experienced this for themselves. Yet, yeah, CGI, they're all liars. They're all fucking in on it. They're all fucking like fucking, yo, fuck off. Get a grip. Space is not hard to fucking look at. All you have to do is wait for the sun to go down, get a fucking telescope, and look at the planets that orbit our fucking sun, you dumb fucks. It's not hard. And I tell you what, if you really, really, especially now, when Mars is so close, uh, for 22 years, we're not going to have Mars this close to our fucking planet, right? If you look at it long enough, you can literally see that fucking globe, which is like our globe, rotate. It's not hard. Just open your fucking eyes. Yeah. Yeah, and it's beautiful too, man. I got a telescope and it I looked beautiful. at it and it was great. I can it's see it right nice. over my neighbor's house. It's stunning. <laughs> I tell you what, like the things that you look at when you look for a telescope is absolutely mind blowing. It takes my breath away, the things I've looked at. And it, it, I mean, you know, I don't know how many of you on the panel, I know a few of you have got telescopes, some have looked, but isn't it fucking beautiful what you look at? When you look at Saturn and the rings and you can or see the, the fucking, moon. you can see the moon, well, even the moon. I mean, I mean, I'd done a fucking, I mean, I. <clears throat> I did a video with uh, in rem and we all know that guy is deluded to fuck <laughs> right um and he thought there was doors on the moon for fuck's sake i mean i did doors? a video on this yeah doors yeah yeah he's like is there doors up there it's like <laughs> doors to where <laughs> exactly exactly, exactly. Was, seriously wait, right wait seriously, jim morrison's right? on the moon yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not sure yeah, what he fucking means when he says there's their doors up there. I really don't know. I'm just like, no, there's no fucking doors up there. You oh, no, fuck. I get it. He He's talking about doors in the way that Brad Pitt talked about them in the movie California. There's a big old door, and he's just this redneck, drunken, fucking freak moron. That's what he's talking about. So in it's, Ram it's is psychosis. a drunken, fucking, freaking moron. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, got it. So that's why he thinks there's doors on the moon. Well, I mean, that makes total sense because if you would, <laughs> if you could possibly think that there was actually doors on the moon, I mean, come on. You'd have to fucking build a building to put a door there, you twat. <laughs> I mean, you don't just have a door. You don't go there and build something. I mean, you got a door to your house. Do you think there's a door on the moon? You stupid idiot. <laughs> and the fucking video goes on. I mean, that guy is fucked in the head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's uh. no moon, it's just a fucking light. <laughs> uh, is that a fucking big ball up there? It, yeah, a it's luminary. a really big ball, mate. But not as big it, as a fucking ball you're standing it's like, on. It's, just it's like Giorgio Sukolo says... It's like Giorgio Sukolo says from Ancient Aliens. My question is, who built the moon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bollocks. No one built the moon. We all know, because I've done a video on that as well, that the moon is just quite clearly um, a spaceship that's come, you know, it's been here a few thousand years now just to help us out. Just to help us out. Oh, no. Yeah, just oh, to help no. us out. No. That's why the moon's no. there. Should ask no, the, the moon Jesus represents the sacred mass. Right? <laughs> the moon <laughs> has been put in the sky by giants to mock us. 
That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody knows. Everybody knows that giant steps are what you take when you're walking on the moon. <laughs> oh, walking, hey, to fucking walking, walk. walking on the moon. Hey, hey, Mike, you've got your hand up. Did you already get in or no? No, no. See, this is the, the whole stars thing. Kind of annoys the crap out of me. Now I'm an old school guy. I, I learned photography in the film days i actually still have a film camera that i can't seem to sell because nobody wants it anymore but i read this book called 35 millimeter photography the 35 millimeter handbook and there are even easier ways to find this information on the internet these days and have to buy and read a book but it tells you all about things like exposure so if you really want to know the technical details of why you can and can't see stars at certain points in time. All of that's out there. I mean, you don't have to just make an assumption. Of course, it doesn't fit the scripted narrative of, of certain globe deniers, but that's beside the point. But the, the information is, is out there for anybody who wants to know why certain exposures, you can't see certain details because it's blinded out by the light. I mean, it it, it should it, it shouldn't be this hard to figure this out and, and you know they tell us to do research obviously zero research went into this video zero none so he's either a lying intellectually dishonest asshole or he's incompetent we were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by the eye without surface. looking through the optics. Uh, and there are pause, 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 before we go any... Moon. Oh, come on. If, before we go any further, can you fucking see stars in the daytime on the planet Earth? No, you no. can't. So you're not going to see fucking stars in the daylight on the fucking moon. Yeah, he's he's, he's self-debunked himself over and over again because he literally does not understand what he's doing he's a, he's about to uh prove himself to be further dishonest here because he's talking about nasa says we can't leave low earth orbit which means he's gonna find a bunch of clips and cut a bunch of people off mid-sentence right now we only can fly in earth orbit that's the farthest that we can go and right now the technologies right now. that right we're now. testing out on space station yes, are right definitely now. helping us with our exactly. goals Drop of going power. beyond low earth orbit early in the next decade the set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. And this is really the beginning, I think, of human beings leaving low Earth orbit. Well, one thing I really want your generation to embrace Mid is that the Earth is a closed yep. system. We cannot leave the Earth. Well, one thing I really... Oh, yeah, he's talking about context. that, like, about no, climate yeah. change, isn't he? He's He's talking about climate change and he's talking about how like we don't really have the technology or the capability to colonize another planet at this point in time. Yeah. And so right. for all for all intents and purposes, the Earth is a closed system that we can't leave. Also, right. also in that context, uh, I, it's, you know, it's open though, because yeah. we get energy, but yeah. But well, also, also, and I, I hate like uh, people are gonna give me, give me hate for this. I understand he has some qualification, but I don't go to uh, a children's TV host for my actual science. You don't. Yeah. How do you learn anything? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, a fucking job. How? Don't get me wrong. I did watch Bill Nye the Science Guy a lot as a kid. It was a great show. But at the same time, that's that's who he is. He like he has an engineering degree, I think, but he's not he's not so much an active scientist as he is a person who talks about science. A communicator. Mm -hmm. Can so basically what we have here is a video that is full of self debunked and intellectually dishonest edits. That's really all this is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Absolutely. It's quite similar to most of what I mean, you don't forget mine. <laughs> but yeah space you just said he was quote mining yeah that's kind of the heart of the video it's all fucking quote mining out of context exactly. oh yeah out of context <laughs> <laughs> well that was lovely uh bullshit what uh what's everybody think of that anybody got a got a wrap up uh final rant to do <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no wrap up. I mean, it's just, let's just wrap it up because it's shit. <clears throat> That's my wrap up. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, ODDTV uh, should be like, call himself like retarded TV.
<laughs> he's like he's rapping like yeah flat earths <laughs>